Hello and welcome back to my channel. It is day 13 of my book Galeem, which is a really, really bad luck number. Unfortunately, wait, is it Friday the 13th today? Let me check. I want to laugh if this is Friday the 13th all over again, because that was what happened for me previous in book Ah, uh, it is a Sunday. Shucks. <laughs> but it's all good. We're still going to have a fun time with the number 13. But anyways, I thought I'd be doing something wild as the guy that probably won't be able to finish it, but that's okay. I thought I'll be reading 13 books on day 13. I know, it's gonna be a mess, <laughs> but let's get going. My first book is House of Last Resort by Christopher Golden. I actually have all 13 books all planned out. Let's see what this one is about. <laughs> Across Italy, there are many half-empty towns newly abandoned by those who migrated to the coast or the cities. The beautiful crumbling hilltop town of Virginia is among them, but its mayor has taken drastic measures to rebuild selling abandoned homes to anyone in the world for a single euro, as long as the buyer promises to live there for at least five years. It's no brainer for American couple Tommy and Kate Poglisley. Poglisley? That doesn't sound American. Poglisley? Let me know. Both work remotely, and Virginia is the home of Tommy's grandparents. Oh, okay. <laughs> and that answers everything. His closest living relatives, it feels like a romantic invention, an opportunity the young couple would be crazy not to seize. But from the moment they move in, they both feel a shadow has fallen on them. Yay, ignore the shirt, you're gonna be seeing a lot of shirts like this. So, ignore. Yay. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to be able to finish this book because look at this guy. It's the Book of Accidents by Chuck Wendig. Long ago, Nathan lived in a house in the country with his abusive father and has never told his family what happened there. Long ago, Manny was a little girl in Mickey Dolls in her bedroom when she saw something she shouldn't have and is trying to remember the large trauma by making haunting sculptures. Long ago, something sinister, something hungry, walked in the tunnels in the mountains under the cold mines of rural Pennsylvania. Now Nathan Manning Graves are married and they have moved back to the hometown right into San Oliver. And now what happened long ago is happening again. And it's happening to Oliver. He meets a strange boy who becomes his best friend and boy with secrets of his own and put a taste of, for dark magic. Why would you move to a house that you knew what happened only to have your son in the same house? Like why would you do that? I don't understand. But I so. I'm not a couple, so I don't know anything about partnership. And the chapter seems really short. I don't know, but we will see if we can make this thing go. And my next book is The Retreat by Sarah Pierce. They couldn't wait to stay here. An idyllic wellness retreat has opened on an island off the English coast, promising rest and relaxation. But the island itself, known as Local Eureka's Walk, has a dark past. Once the playground of a serial killer is rumored to be cursed, but now they can't leave. A young woman is found dead below the yoga pavilion in what seems to be a tragic fall, but, but Detective Ellen Warren soon learns the victim was a guest. She, was meant, she wasn't meant to be on the island at all. Sounds creepy. My next book is That Night in the Library by Ellen Jelisicki. One night locked in a library, what can go wrong? On the night before graduation, seven students gather in the basement of the university's Rare Books Library. They're not allowed in the library after closing time, but it's a perfect place for the ritual they want to perform. One blow in front of Greeks and to said to fear those who will take part in it. From the fear of death, and what better time to speak the wisdom of ancient gods than in the hours before they were scattered in different directions to start the real lives. Uh, I love when creepy stuff happens in the library. <laughs> I, then my next book is I House with Girl Bones by T. Kingfisher. Mom seems off. Her brother's words echo in Sam's Montgomery's ear as she turns out of the quiet North Carolina street when the mother lives alone. Her she brushes the thought away as she climbs the front steps. Sam's excited for his rare extended visit and looking forward to nights with just the two of them, drinking boxed wine, watching random mystery shows, and guessing who the killer is long before the character thinks of it now. But stepping inside, she quickly realizes home isn't what it used to be. Gone is a warm cloud of charm her mom is known for, and now the walls are painted and still white. Her mom jumps into smallest noises and looks over her shoulder even when she's the only person in the room. 
and when Sam steps out back to clear her head, she finds a jar of teeth hidden behind beneath the magazine of one of the most bushes, and vultures are circling the garden from above. So, we gotta see what will happen. My next book is Those Across the River by Christopher Bullohan. One, two, don't look at me, look a little. Three, four, who is that? Crashing at my door. Five, six, get you while you're picking six. Seven, eight, get you if you stay out late. Nine, ten, I will never get back home again. Haunted by memories of the Great War, their academic Frank Nicholas and his wife and daughter have arrived in sleepy Georgia town of White Brown where Frank hopes to write a history of his family's old estate, the seven yard plantation and the horrors that occur there. At first, the great roller maze of the new neighbors seemed to be everything they wanted, but under the facade of summer shuttles and small town charm, there's unspoken thread that the townsfolk have lived with for generations and princes that demand sacrifice. Snap. Every seem off is because I have been talking all day before book away, so I'm sorry if I lose my voice. <laughs> Yay. And my next book is The Chateau by Jacqueline Golis. You will recognize this from My TV Yard. I think I said it in, the, in the My TV Yard that you will see some repetitive books throughout the um, month just because I think that makes more sense and it's how I will be able to finish my TV Yard. So there's that. You are commonly invited to the chateau. Welcome to the picturesque province where the lady of the chateau, Seraphine de Burglass, has opened its elegant doors to her granddaughter Darcy and three friends. Twenty years earlier, the four girlfriends study abroad together in France and visit an old women on the weekends, creating a grim state bond, but why the sudden invitation? I'm not going to go into this much because I already talked about it for my TV on. So you can go just go back for day one of my book Halloween to know more about it, but it's going to be deliciously exciting. <laughs> Again, this is also a part of my TV and that's The Haunting of Ashburn House by Darcy Coates. There's something wrong with Ashburn House. Everyone knows about Ashburn House. They whisper that all old owner went mad and rest of girls still walk the halls, but when Andrew and Lisbeth in need of a place to stay and inherits the grumbling old mansion, she only sees it as a lifeline until darkness falls. Again, not too much I'm not going into, just because I said in the team yard. But I'm excited what the nightfall brings. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of that monster house. You know that show with all those kids and they got run into that house and that creepy grandpa? This one probably reminds me of. Let me know if this is just me. My next book is Murder Moon by Simone St. James. July 1995, April and Eddie have taken a long turn. They're looking for the small resort town where they plan to spend their honeymoon. When they spot what appears to be a lone hitchhiker along the desert road, they stop to help, but not long after the woman gets into the car, they see the blood seeping from her jacket, and the trunk building down at the kiss line after them. Creepy. My next book is The Black House by Carol Johnstone. A remote village, a deadly secret, a woman who knows the truth. Robert Lee moves his family to Scotland's outer he he blinds, driven by home, creating safety and community, hiding a terrible secret. But despite his efforts to fit in, Robert is seen as an outsider and as the legendary and violent Hamilton storms rage around him, he begins to have love believing his fate on a remote island of Calamary cannot be escaped. I kind of love like when we have houses on the islands and you can't escape. I do like those books. I think sometimes they can be done right, but we will see about this book and how it is. It kind of reminds me of Hamburg Island. Which I do love, so yeah. We're almost there, guys. <laughs> I know a lot of books. My next. Ah, uh, you don't need to see my full name. My next book is The Library of the Written by A.J. Hackwitch. Hackwith. Many years ago, Claire was named head librarian of the Unwritten Ring, a neutral space in hell where all the stories are finished by the authors inside. Her job consists mainly of repairing and organizing books, but also of keeping an eye on restless stories that risk materializing as characters and scamming the library. When a hero escapes from his book and goes in search of its author, Claire must track and capture him with the help of former muse and current assistant Blavity and a nervous and sweet demon Leto. Leto? Leto? I don't know. So, it might not sound spooky, but it's going to be a fun adventure. Alright. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I can't think about it. Anyways, uh, my next book is Looking Glass Sound by Katriana Ward. In a cottage overlooking a windsweep, Maine Coast, Mulder Valhalla has begun the last book he will ever write. 
In his story about the sun drenched some on the ease of his youth and was the bay in the bloodstained path of the killer that sucked his small location thought about the terrible secret he and his companions, Nat and Harper, discovered and tombed in the corners of the bay, and how the pack they swore that, that they had gone down in decades for the sh- That stupid thing scares the crap out of me. Fine, I won't put you. Oh my gosh. And how the pack they swore that they had gone down the decades forever shaving their lives. But the more violent rise, the less he trusts himself in his memory. He starts to see things that can't be real, notes hidden in the cottage from an old friend now dead, a woman with dark hair drowning in the icy waters below, calling for help. Entire chapters he doesn't recall typing, appearing on one night. Who or what is haunting Wilbur? Well, but to find out. And my last book is The Red House by Morris Watkins. Only the killer holds the key. The crime that shocked a nation. The flowers were the perfect family until in the day 15 year old great gamer Joseph shot dead his parents and baby brother Rose his younger sister Eve hid. He fled the scene and spent all night working on his video game. They thought they had the killer. No one knows why Joseph murdered his family. The following day he was involved in an accident that has been a coma for two decades. Eve's always known he did it. She saw the crime after all. What if they were wrong? Now in the world, Eve is forced to examine her memories when disturbing new evidence about the case comes to light. Rumor has it that Joseph cleaned a hidden level and escaped at night, which might hold the key. But if Joseph didn't do it, then the killer's still out there and they're coming for the girl who escaped. Well, well that sounds quite interesting actually. So, I don't think I ever read a book about mini games and murders. Hmm. So. From all those piles, my voice is completely dead. Oh my gosh. I might stop at the chateau just because I actually have someone being on hold and I need to get my butt moving with these books. Um, so yeah, I think I'll be reading the chateau and then we will go from there and then I'll probably read the, A House with Good Bones, I believe that's what it's called. It seems short, so. I will have to strategize this really carefully <laughs> if I want to finish all of this. So, if I can read five books per day, I think I will make an action because I didn't used to do that before. I used to read five books like at the same time. So, yeah, I might actually do it that way. Um, I'll just read to a certain point of in the book and then pick up the next one. So. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting night indeed. <laughs> so, I guess let's go read the chateau. I just tripped over a pile of books, but this is my 13 books. And a really awkward thumbnail. Yay! But anyways, I'm going to go put this down because it's really, really heavy. <laughs> That's going to fall. Okay, bye. <laughs> I'm crazy, I know. Let's go meet Chateau. I don't have to feel about it. <laughs> maybe 2.5, 3 stars, maybe. I'm not sure. But, uh, and then also dragged. Um, I think there was just too much going on. There was like financial troubles. There was like murder and cancer and all of those things. And there was just like the breakup and the holocaust that was mentioned, so on and so forth. I think the author was trying to do too much, which ended up actually overwhelming me. 
Um, it could have been better if she just stuck to the murder or matter who done it. Because one person did end up dying, I'm not saying who. But, um, yeah, it was just too much all at once and then we got this mess. So it could have been better. But, honestly, it was okay, I guess. Um, I don't know, I feel like it could have been a little bit more better if she hadn't done everything all at once. Like, honestly, just the murder part of the book was just fine as it is. I would have been more invested in that than all the other topics that were covered. In this book, it was just honestly messy. It really was. We were also told from many point of views in the book. And there was one that I thought wasn't really necessary, which was the groundskeeper. I don't think the thing he was needed in this path. And like it just it felt like she, he was just more of a side character than an actual main character. So I mean he probably was a side character regardless. But I just felt like he there was no need for his path. So, um yeah, so there's that. I kind of guessed who it was the as to murder, but I was also a little bit off, but not too much off, if that makes sense. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was just okay. Um, I did like the atmosphere, but um, it was just okay. And the one thing I didn't really like is that how the grandmother, Selfie, she kept saying, "Oh, I brought you here. There is a reason." She kept saying it over and over again throughout the pages and I'm like, are you finally gonna tell her? Or tell them, I should say. It was quite annoying, redundant, repetitive, however you see fit. So that part wasn't really necessary. Like, just say it or don't say it, but like, if you're gonna do it that way, say it in riddles. You know what I mean? So they can figure it out, which they did. They finally figured out the whole reason. But, uh, <laughs> I just hate it when they, like, even the conversations at the beginning, they were also being repeated. Like, so, what do you think the grandmother was going to say to us, like, over and over again? I'm like, just stop. <laughs> stop it with the repetitive. Uh, so, yeah, that was a mess. Um, oh, uh, yeah, honestly, it just felt flat. Just because there were just so many different topics in this book. So yeah, um, I couldn't really care about the characters. I didn't really connect to any of them. They were just honestly so boring. <laughs> so I couldn't really care as to what happened. Um, uh, um, there was also this part at the end of the book. It literally says, so something happened. They reached like at the end of the story. And it says two weeks later. I'm like, what? It just seems so out of place, especially with what happened before that two weeks later. I'm like, okay, you're not gonna, you're not gonna show us what happened with the other two girls, although it then seemed like, oh, we're just gonna chill out in the park while this mess was happening, even though those two girls then seemed like, oh, they were probably the murder is still in the chateau, but they didn't do anything, and they're literally just like, but I just want to chill just for a bit. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I don't know. They're just so awkward. <laughs> I guess like they just want to chill while the murderer is still possibly in the chateau with the other two friends that are in the chateau. And I'm like, why did you want to go after your friends? And I'm like, yeah, you're also putting yourself in danger because of the murderer. But like, wow, that was just like nonchalant and what? But. Yeah, so that happened. Um, I don't know how to feel about that. So, it was just so weird reading the two weeks later. It just honestly took me surprised. It really did, so. I don't know what happened there, but it just felt so random, so out of place. But um, I did like the setup. Sorry, my phone. But I did like the setup. I liked the multiplications and like the whole atmospheric. I didn't like those, but yeah, honestly, and just things in this book were just too much. So it could have been better. But um, yeah, so those are my thoughts. Um, it's 6:30 p.m. right now, so I'm gonna be reading for the whole day. 
I think it took me like maybe two, three days almost. So I can finally return this book to the library because one person wants to read it as well. Also, when I was reading this book, I found a dead bug in here. So, I don't know what the person before me did to this book, but that was a nightmare, so that was fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I will take a break and maybe after that I will probably read A House with Good Bones. Just make it a short. Now, I'm trying to do this strategically, um, but uh, I do see myself reading fast. I, I am still enjoying it. I'm not reading five books at once, which is something I should do. I think this is like only the second day. Or no, it, it should be the third day if I took three days to read this book. Never mind. So technically I have like ten more days to finish this challenge. But um, we will see. So yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye bye. <laughs>
So, yeah, I know so Sam seems to keep asking Gail, like, the same question over. Like, what? We need help. What? I need you to help us. And Gail's like, oh, I don't know what I can do. So, so she's supposedly a witch, but um, not a good one, I guess, if she doesn't know what to do. And so, yeah, I don't know. The characters seem fine. There wasn't anything too drastic with them. They just seem fine. So, there's that. <laughs> so the one, yeah. So one thing that kind of annoy me um is that when the repetitive of Sam being called fat, I didn't really like that. That is, I just wish the author didn't really do those me like that much comments about being fat. It just wasn't really necessary. So. I don't know, and it's not a joke, like, it's a really sensitive thing to many people, so I don't know why it's, it's like, being brushed off as a joke. And so, it's just, we shouldn't do that. And that's just my opinion, but whatever, um, but what do I know? Um, like, yeah, and so, I don't know, but anyways, it's 10.15pm. I might go to bed soon. I <laughs> I know 10:15. What? I have work tomorrow. I have to get up at 5:50 a.m. So that's fun. Yay! <laughs> but otherwise, um, I think I might read. Oh, I don't know what to read. I know Looking Glass Sound or Those Across the River. I'm not sure. I did have to return one book from my 13 pile. Because apparently I already read that book, so that's great. So, so I had to return the book today, and then I'll probably substitute it with something else to make, the, you know, tempting books. But, um, yeah, and so that's the plan. I think I'm, I'm gonna go to bed soon and kind of take a break from reading tonight. So, yeah, we'll see you guys, honestly, quite like way later in the evening tomorrow honestly so i will see you then Hey guys, it's way later in the night. I even about this much, so a little bit more than half. I'm still confused as to what's happening. I think I have somewhat of an idea, but I'm not 100% sure. I just don't know when the story is going. It kind of jumps, at least that's how I feel like it. It just jumps from one here to here to there. I don't know if I should continue to read. Like, I don't like to read stories that makes me confused. Because that's not enjoyable for me. So. And I'm already wasting a little bit of days. <laughs> so, um. I don't know. I might not continue. Just because of that reason. Like, I'm really honestly confused. <laughs> so. I mean, let's see, I will might read a couple more pages, and then if I'm still, like, you know, done deal, then that's what it is. But, um, yeah, that's my small update. Like, I could not give you a proper update even if I try, like, it honestly really is confusing. <laughs> it really is. So, I don't know, but, um... Yeah, so that's my update. Uh, I guess I'll read some little bit more, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, hi guys. So it's a, it's a little bit later. I think like three days late, like you know. So technically, five days have passed. I think I'm gonna give up on the other one that was I was reading, Looking Glass Sound. Honestly, I just don't want to think that much in the books, <laughs> especially right now. 
I can think later, but like, especially as of now, no. It was just too confusing and way too many identities changing. It was kind of hard to keep up because of it. So it was fine on the, like at the beginning, but when you do on the second part of the book, it just completely got mush mushed up. So like, I don't know what happened there, so like, it was just so confusing. I didn't mind the writing. I thought the writing was beautiful, so. Yeah, I'm just way too confused, so I'm thinking I'm going to put the book on hold. I'm probably not going to come back to it at all, honestly. And I'm going to read books that makes me happy. So that's that. Which means I'm going to be reading that night in the library, because honestly, it sounds way too interesting. So, yeah. Let's see how it is. And maybe it won't be too confusing. <laughs> Does that book was honestly a mess, or I'm just not smart enough to figure it out? I'm probably not smart enough to figure it out. <laughs> Anyways. So it's 5.53 p.m. I'm almost near the finale. I think still it's okay sometimes. Um, I'm not really sure how to feel about it at times. I'm so I'm kind of multitasking here. <laughs> but I think it's an okay book. Um, there are some things I wished wasn't really in there. Um, but I guess it's okay. There are some things that are kind of just like, you know, kind of got ex unexpected or unexpected. It's like, wow, what's happening? So it just feels like the whole thing was just kind of repeating itself all over. one. So I don't really like Uru. I just find her really annoying. And I'm like, and just so annoying the way how she acts and talks and just so stupid. <laughs> so I'm sorry, but I don't really find any characters relatable at all. And so I'm yeah, I just don't really think they're relatable, and especially with the way how they talk. They only sound like five-year-olds, but maybe that's just me. I kind of don't like Faye, and so, so yeah, the plot is kind of okay. It did get boring a little bit of times so I came in there, and so, I don't know. I did like the premise because then there's like some kind of ritual after hours of the library and then just hiding like in this basement. I do like the references between Hades and Persephone and just I kind of like how they correlate to each other and that part was fun. But honestly it's, there's some things that, that kind of annoy me but I don't know like I don't think like the characters could have been better really kind of so yeah I will see if the finale makes up for it but Honestly, these are my thoughts thus far. I'm close to the end. I think I have like about three more chapters or four more give or take, so... Yeah, I don't know. Now it's just a whole lot of bickering between the characters and it feels like nothing was ever done in the book because they just constantly bicker and they keep putting blame. I'm like, okay, let's just settle down here. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, I think the author also could have slowed down with the twist just because it also made me hard to feel what's happening and honestly sometimes I do feel confused so that could have been slightly better as well as the execution of the story itself so a lot of things could have just been done but I think the plot of where I wanted to go it could have been done better but yeah those are my thoughts um, I'm gonna read the finale but otherwise if I don't talk to you these are my thoughts, so 
Yeah, I'll see you guys then. Wait, hey guys, so I finished a book. Um, I know how to feel about it. I think I'm gonna give it like a three stars, 2.5. Just because, honestly, sometimes the pacing had issues. It'll be like really slow and it pick up, slow, pick up, so. Also, the amount of information that we sleep is also boring. So, the actual book didn't quite pick up. Until maybe towards the middle of the book, maybe like more than middle. So it was also quite boring <laughs> to get to even that part, as well as the action scenes. Um, there was also the switch one they were supposed to do, which never happened. I honestly couldn't care less what kind of sequence Dimitri had to bestow upon them, so I couldn't really care less about it. Um, yeah, the characters were honestly just self-absorbed and and they were just cringy. I don't know. They were unhinged for sure, but. It's just something I can't really take them seriously. I don't know. I just don't like any of the characters. Faye is okay. Um, the plot twist was something else. So I think that whole twist kind of confused me because there were like so many. And so that could have been properly executed well. I think the author had too much ideas at once. Or at least I feel like. Because if you're going to do a twist, do it like gradually. Don't just... But here's a twist, here's a twist, here's a twist. You know what I mean? So don't like shove it in your reader's face. So just do it gradually. I believe it'll be way better. So yeah. Uh, and also take part on what have I said earlier as well. So it was just kind of confusing. And yeah, there was definitely some pacing issues. So the whole thing, like the whole execution just fell flat and could have been so much better because honestly, the premise really sounded good, so I did like the like a uh, the Greek mythology in it. So we got the Hades, Persephone, Dimitri. If you know in mythology, you know what happened. So yeah, so that's it. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of break. It's almost 8 p.m. Um, yeah. So I might read the House of Last Resort, or the House of Resort, whatever how you call it. I'll put up here, but um. Yeah, otherwise, we won't go from there, because I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break. So, yeah. So technically, I have to minus out one day, because I was focusing on Frankenstein for day five. So that's why it, this book took me a little bit longer for me to read. Um, because day five is going to come up really quickly, so I needed that log. <laughs> So technically, instead of three days, if we minus that one, that, we, that will give me two days for the book I have read. So which means I technically have only six days left to read my books for the 13 days in total. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, because the my other ones, yeah, so I said, so, yeah, I have six more days left to go. So... Yeah, actually, I think this is like the most of the reading I have ever done for my book arena. I'm like, I'm impressed. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I'm gonna go take a break, refresh myself, and I'll see you guys later. and I just don't have to feel for it. It's just so slow. It's like thinking about how to get the spooky vibe of it, so... I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue. I'm most likely won't, so... I know I'm gonna stress myself reading it, like, oh, I have to read it, but... I might be enough it. I'll probably read some each pages, but... I don't think I'm continuing it, so... 
And yeah, and I'm going to pull this, but then I'm also going to be a dominant guest, which I am fed a bit. So, if this guy doesn't make out that well, I might start using meaning this guy and so far it's, this is really picking up fast. Like, we're already into the bad stuff already, so it's quite unexpected, actually. But, yeah, this is just like the same repetitive stories that we all you know, read. Um, it kind of reminds me of this, the September house, even though I never really read it. It just kind of gave me that same vibe. But, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna continue reading this, so. Yeah, so technically I did not finish my 13 books, but that's okay, I tried. So, yeah, that's what my thoughts are, and just, mm, the characters seem to be okay in the journey that they are, but why are there so many noises today? I swear that name with that stupid truck or car I should say, it always has to rev up the engine to get out of the garage. It's so inconsiderate. Like enough man, it's like it's almost 10 p.m. and this is what he's doing. Yes I know he just got home but holy crap he even did it in midnight like come on at midnight? Like seriously, it's so stupidly annoying. <sighs> I hate sports card. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, so I, honestly the characters seem to be okay. The journey seems a little bit fine, but it's just too slow for my taste. So because right now they're like just finishing up the catacombs in parties that they were touring. Well, yeah, the catacombs. I think they're in Paris, like the two characters. I'm pretty sure the two characters are in Paris because I can't think of any other catacombs. I don't know if Italy has some... Um, no, I'm pretty sure Italy has some catacombs. Hang on. Okay, yes, there are in catacombs in Italy. Oh my god. He would do that like every 10 minutes. I don't think he's not gonna shut up. So him, but... They're the catacombs of St. Calactus, so I think that's the one that they are currently in. Oh, he finally showed up. Sorry. That really pisses me off. Um, so I think that's the one, that's the catacombs that are currently in here. But, yeah, I don't know, it's just so boring. So, I'm probably not gonna force myself reading it. So, yeah, that's that. <laughs> Alright, guys, so. I think I'm gonna give up on this and just not walking out. It's just so slow and honestly, and I have better books to read. <laughs> but I am reading this one, The Overnight Guest, and we are on chapter 16 already. Like, I'm flying by this book so fast. It has 50 chapters, but they're so short. So I'm playing this book like so fast. Um, I had to go to bed yesterday, so that's why I ran out. <laughs> But today is Friday, so yay, I can read as much as I want. <laughs> so honestly, it's not bad so far. Like, we're already jumping into the crime scene of, of like what's happening and how it happened, why it happened. We're getting to the nitty gritty stuff right now. So, it's quite an interesting pace. It is fast paced, I feel like, because we're like jumping into the you know, that crime scene, so, and all the spooky stuff, um, but, yeah, so, so far it's interesting, it's not bad, I don't mind it, um, but, yeah, so that's, like, my small little update, um, I think I have, damn it, I don't know how much books I have, I think I have, like, maybe six more books? Five? Something like that? I'm not sure. And then I'll be finished this challenge. Finally. I don't know how long this vlog will be. It will probably be at least 20 minutes. 35 even. At least. So you're welcome. <laughs> but this is like this month. I actually read way more books than I had ever read before. Like if you think about it, I read well, I'm hoping I'll read 13 books. Minus one because I didn't know this one, so that's 12 books. Plus all my other ones. So that's a lot of books read. 
And so, yeah, I'm really impressed. Like, I never met this much in one month. <laughs> so, that's what's happening right now. Um, yeah, it's 5.37 p.m. It's such a day. It's a we got depressing news. So when I was like in the network, like I want to go explore today. Like by exploring, like, you know, seeing some sights and all that stuff. So that never happened because we are uh, expecting rain. When's the rain? I don't know. It never came. So thanks for ruining my day for nothing. <laughs> but anyways, um, and we're also expecting snow. Like snow as in it will turn into rain eventually. But I'm hoping it won't be actual snow because it should not be that cold yet to actually have snow. So, yeah. And it's really windy. For some reason, it's so windy. It's, it wasn't been that windy in the afternoon, but yeah. So, yeah, that's my updates. Um, yeah, otherwise, I will just continue to read and. I mean, um, we will see what sort of clean this will happen. <laughs> I'll um, see you guys later. Oh wait, hey guys, so I just finished the book. I think I'm gonna give it three stars. Um, I think it was fine. Um, I think there were just some things that were kind of already, you can easily just figure it out. And so what's happening with the characters. Um, on, there was one part that happens, like what happened with Lovey, we just started doing something on her. I think Lovey's a hand, but anyways. So we just started doing something and then that was it. We didn't really get a quite enough explanation of like the consequences, what happened. So that was just kind of a left point blank. Um, also, and so um, there's also another part with an interaction with Jackson. I kind of want to see what happened in there. We were just told, like, oh, he just, you know, he was unlocked and he went away. I kind of want to see that interaction. So. Yeah, that is that. Um, I think the mystery is still pretty good. I kind of liked it, even though I didn't guess uh, who it was. So that was okay, I guess. <laughs> so, like the first part of the book, it was enjoyable. I really did like it. But I think towards the end of the book, it kind of got too much coincidence. Like, one of the chapters of a guy being malfunction malfunctioning. So, you know, it has like those certain glitches, glitches in the book, so, yeah, that's like one of the most overused glitch ever, but it is what it is, um, I also thought the piece was fine, the characters seem double sometimes, they would sometimes make dumb mistakes, but, yet again, it's a thriller, everyone reacts to certain Every reacts definitely to certain things depending on what situation it is. And so yeah, I don't know, they're just kind of a little bit coincidence like there's a blizzard and have cell phones that shut in and there's no way to have the landlines. So things like that were kind of just too coincidence for everything. Um Also, why would a character be walking in a blizzard? That was also one of the coincidences she was just she found something during her walk, and then it just kind of was just coincidence that she happened to find it because she was walking in a blizzard. I'm like, that's brave. <laughs> but, yeah, it was okay. Um, it was still a fun read, but it was just, there were just too many coincidences. So, yeah, I think it was okay. Um, but anyways, I'm going to bed. It's late in the night, so... Yeah, I don't know what I'll read next. Maybe across the river, or those across the river, or the library at Mitten. I'm not sure. I don't think I have too many books left, so that's exciting. <laughs> but this is going to be a really, really long vlog. <laughs> but otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow.
right, so I finished the book, The Red House. I think I'll give it 3 stars, so it was okay. It did kind of drag on a, quite a bit, just to get to the mystery. Um, I did like how it tied with the computer game. I thought it was really cool. Um, honestly, the first half of the book was really intriguing. I really liked how it started, but then after the, like, the second half, it kind of went downhill. And I just didn't really like how the murderer was going and all that, so that part could have been a little bit more better. Um, honestly, I'm so confused as to who the actual killer is. I kind of guessed halfway in a way, but like, I'm so confused as to who was the killer because there are like so many identity changes. So like, I'm not quite sure as to who the killer is and that cliffhanger wasn't really giving much, like, it didn't really told me, like, if he actually did it or whatever, and just, I don't know how to feel about it, like, the ending just was not giving much at all, so it was kind of confusing, but, um, yeah, so I think the characters are okay, it just didn't took them too long to figure out who it was, and so, I'm still confused as to who actually did it, <laughs> I'm probably just slow, but, yeah, it was a weird little thing, so it's like mostly a lot animals, how they saved the girl, because at the beginning she was like hiding in snakes to hide from the killer, so I guess that's that. <laughs> but yeah, it was okay, it wasn't bad, it just dragged on, but um, I was definitely felt a little bit confusion. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. But. It's 7 p.m. right now, so I think I'm gonna take a break. Um, I am planning to read the Banner House next, so that seems short. And thankfully, I believe I have five more books, so I should be able to make it. If I'm reading like, t like if it takes me two days to read each book, I think I will be able to make this. So, and plus one day enough kind of helped out a lot. So. I might be able to finish this challenge. Holy crap, I never read so much. <laughs> but I will see you guys later. So I think I'm actually gonna end the vlog here, so I didn't read much at all. Honestly, I have to be realistic with myself, because three days? That's... yeah, no. So I tried. At least I tried. So there's that. But honestly, I don't want to push myself and not have fun in reading anymore, if you know what I mean, so... I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's 9.34 p.m., so... I'm going to end the vlog here, this is going to be a really long one, but I hope you guys enjoyed the night that was, but um, I almost made it, I think I have like 10 books read, I believe, so that's still pretty something. Well, actually, 8 books, because I didn't have 2 of them, but um, that's still something. So yeah, honestly, I'm just going to end the vlog here. Um, I want to make this fun and not, you know, push, push, push. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this, I please like, comment, subscribe, so you'll be notified every time I post. I will see you tomorrow for day 14. Adios.